Forsaken, the Destiny 2 reveal is here, and it looks great. Like seriously, there is just so much stuff to love about it. Go watch it yourself if you haven't already, and it is linked below. But we have seen some pretty awesome reveals before. Bungie does do this stuff very well. So how do we know if all of these promises and ideas will be well executed when we finally get Forsaken to play it ourselves? In this video, I want to talk about three changes or extra pieces of content that really stood out to me. Now these aren't new types of missions, but rather changes to the core mechanics of the game that are going to be far more valuable than any new raid or such. The first thing that really got me excited when watching this was to hear that we're finally getting back random rolls on our guns. For those that did play Original Destiny, you know how important this is. And for those that didn't, I'll do a quick explanation. You see, Destiny is first and foremost a looter shooter. You want to play so that there is a chance that you will get a really cool and powerful piece of gear to equip, and then you just repeat the cycle over and over and over. It's called grinding, and that's basically what Destiny is. Now, something that fueled this grind used to be that whenever a gun dropped from an activity, its perks were randomly generated. So some variants of Effort Eat Spear were pretty trash, and others had final round, armor piercing rounds, and an ambush scope, making it borderline broken. Now this all disappeared in Destiny 2, probably in the name of balance, and if a weapon dropped, it had the exact same perks as every other weapon with the same name. All Nameless Midnights are the same gun. In Forsaken, we're going to be moving back to random rolls on our weapons. Now this gives people far more reason to play across all of the different activities, because each piece of loot is exciting. When it drops, it could have a powerful combination of traits that make it worth using, or it just could be trash to be sharded. Now I can't really overstate how critical this is to a system like Destiny, that uses exciting loot as literal fuel to keep it working. And so far this is something that Destiny 2 has been sorely missing. Now let's move on to the second big change heralded by Forsaken. It appears that they are unlocking weapon slots, so you no longer have to run around with two primary weapons, but will be able to equip things like snipers and shotguns in your secondary slot again. Now we don't know the exact mechanics of how this new system will function, we just know that you will be able to assemble your loadout using many more combinations of weapons, or just use three shotguns, but that does seem a little bit redundant. Regardless, I'm pretty sure that almost everyone agrees that it's going to be a lot more fun to run a rifle, a shotgun, and then a rocket launcher combo than just two assault rifles and a grenade launcher. Now the obvious concern here is how this new system will be balanced for the PvP in the Crucible, but we don't really have enough information to speculate too much upon that at the moment, because we don't know specifically how the ammo economy is going to be. I'll say it again, those two words are going to be very, very important when this DLC drops. Ammo. Economy and it will make or break Crucible in Forsaken. Now I keep calling this a new feature, but realistically, it's just another old one that we did actually have in Vanilla Destiny, but I for one am definitely glad to be getting it back. The third thing that they are adding is increased subclass customization in the form of a few new supers. Again, we don't have a huge amount of information on this so far, but it is something that is sorely needed. Subclasses in Destiny 2 have always felt a little bit flat because you can't really customize them very much. You just choose which tree to use, top or bottom. Now I don't think that Bungie intends to unlock these perks per se and let us fully customize our subclasses, but just by providing extra choice and variety in the different class builds, it will do a great favor for the game. Also, who just doesn't love new supers? Now these changes all do have me very excited, but the sobering fact is that they were also all in Original Destiny. Should we really be praising Bungie for giving back features that they had already taken away? Should we really have to pay to have this stuff reintroduced? Now it's not really a question that I'm here to answer today, but it's certainly something to think about, given that it looks like this expansion is going to spend a lot of resources adding back in features and content from Original Destiny. Now that is a good thing, don't get me wrong, it just shouldn't have to be needed. The Forsaken reveal comes with a whole lot of other exciting features, like an in-game lore tab, a collection system to keep track of all your items and armor sets, more ways to play both PvP and PvE, and of course new enemies. But like everything, we will have to wait until release to see how this very promising content is actually implemented. Because we have been burned a few too many times in the past for me not to take all of this with a little grain of salt. My final thoughts is that this looks really promising, but it could just reflect some awesome marketing work, so try to temper your expectations. 
If people want to see me look through the reveal in great detail and see if I can pick up on any other tidbits that we could extrapolate from what the information we have is, let me know in the comments and I'll consider making a video on that as well. Thank you so much for watching, if you want to play some games and hang out with the 4FS community, please join our Discord server, linked in the description below, and leave your own thoughts in the comments section. Until next time, it's Faction Rally week, so uh, go out and support New Monarchy, because they are the best.